title, The Unyielding Wave, in the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean. During the tumultuous era of the Napoleonic Wars, the British Royal Navy under Admiral Horatio Nelson stood resolute against the formidable French and Spanish fleets. The year was 1805, and the stage was set for one of history's most legendary naval battles, the Battle of Trafalgar. The sun hung low in the sky, casting a golden glow over the English Channel as HMS Victory. Admiral Nelson's flagship sliced through the tranquil waters. Its sails were filled with the wind, carrying the might of the British Empire. The air was thick with anticipation and the scent of gunpowder. Suddenly, a dark line appeared on the horizon. The French and Spanish fleets, led by Vice Admiral Pierre Charles Silvestre de Villeneuve, and Admiral Federico Gravina respectively, were emerging from the foggy distance. Their combined forces outnumbered Nelson's, but the British were not deterred. As the two sides drew closer, the silence was shattered by the deafening roar of cannons. The sea turned crimson as sailors on both sides fought valiantly, their determination etched in every stroke and every shot. The British were relentless their discipline unwavering despite the odds. Admiral Nelson, standing at the helm of HMS Victory, was a vision of calm amidst the chaos. He gave the order for his ships to break through the enemy lines, a daring maneuver that would put them in the heart of the battle. The British fleet surged forward, their sails billowing in the wind like fierce dragons ready to breathe fire. The French and Spanish ships retaliated with everything they had, their cannons thundering in response. But the British were unyielding. They pressed on, their resolve not to be broken. The battle raged on for hours, the sea turning into a symphony of chaos and destruction. Suddenly, a deafening roar echoed across the battlefield. A massive explosion rocked the French flagship, the Boussentar. It was the moment Nelson had been waiting for. With the French leader out of action, the morale of their fleet began to crumble. Seeing this opportunity, Nelson gave the order for a general chase. The British ships pursued their enemies relentlessly, their sails cutting through the waves like knives. One by one, the French and Spanish ships were either captured or destroyed. The sun began to rise, casting long shadows over the battlefield as the last of the enemy ships were taken down. The Battle of Trafalgar was over. The British had emerged victorious their victory securing their dominance on the seas and dealing a significant blow to Napoleon's forces. Admiral Nelson, having led his fleet to an unprecedented victory, was hailed as a hero. His unyielding spirit and relentless determination had turned the tide of war in favor of the British Empire. The sun set on the Battle of Trafalgar, marking not only the end of a battle but also the beginning of a new era.